Hey guys, and welcome to game number 16 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'll be taking on the AI-powered Scobblebot Best Spot in a 100-game match. We're currently 5-10, and 10, but we're on a 3-game win streak, so hoping we can continue the positive momentum today in game number 16 and continue clawing our way back. We're first this game, and as you can, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see, we have a decent opening rack, but a little bit consonant heavy, so probably that is reasonable. It sets up the S pretty nicely. It takes a U for Batu or a Y for Batty as well, so it does take some other hooks. But DNS is a reasonable leave. I could also consider trading. Like, trading BDT is actually not bad, because ANST is going to bingo quite often on my next turn. That may actually be worth it, because... Bat scores 12. Of course, scoring 12 is better than 0, but DNS is going to bingo a lot less than ANST. So I'm kind of tempted to trade. And in general, if you're going to trade, the first turn is the best time to do it, because effectively that just means you're going second. So it's close for sure. It's definitely close. I mean, Bat is not a bad play. Like, DNS is still a pretty good leave, and I do set myself up nicely for that S-hook, but... This is a very, very strong leave. I've got a good chance to bingo for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do this. Well, that didn't really work as planned. Drawing FHK is not going to help bingo, but at least I do have cough, K-H-A-F. So hopefully I'll be able to play that on my, well, first non-zero turn of the game. And wow, best spot playing Worrier immediately. Starting out with a Vengeance. At least after that, it would have still been able to play it, making BE and AR. So it's not like I would have stopped it from bingoing. And now I probably want to play Cough here. 35 points. Not bad at all. Sets up my S with Coughs as well. I could play Coughs and Warriors for 41, but the S is certainly worth 6 points here, especially after Cough, which... Sets it up or resets it up, right? Blocks warriors, but it resets it up with coughs quite nicely. Also with ski, actually, it sort of creates dual S hooks, which is really nice, especially holding the S and add an early deficit. So, yeah, I, uh, I like this. This, uh, or wait a minute. No, I was gonna say fish tank, but that's, that's not a word, is it? I don't think that's a word. I'm pretty sure that's only two words. I, I literally just saw that. No, I, I don't think that's good. I think it's just, I think fish bowl. I don't think fish tank is good. Yeah, that doesn't look right at all. It also gives back a massive X spot anyway, like, or massive S hook. Cough may actually not even be that much worse, even if fish tank is good, but I, I really don't think fish tank is a word. I'm going to play this. All right, we draw the blank. A little bit constant heavy again, but I should be able to make something happen, I would think, with, with this. I have Bonniest through the O at the, at the minimum, so. Hopefully, that stays open. I don't... Do I have a 7? I might not have a 7 with this, actually. Huh. Binnets? That's not good. Bennets is good, but not Binnets. Anything... It would have to be a vowel. A? I have anti-snob as well. Oh, it plays peony. Okay, I missed it. Moved. So I have anti-snob. A very rare bingo ending in B. Don't see those every day. That's 68. Probably Bonniest is a little bit safer, though, because that puts the A next to the triple letter. Yeah, Bonniest definitely gives back less. Do I not have anything better, though? Because I could definitely bingo ending in an S with Spar or Ski and score more. Maybe even a 9 from the KI. That seems like it's going to be tough. Or possibly a double-double if I have a different 8. Yeah, I'm, I'm just pretty confident there's no 7. Like, there's no 7 with an A or an E. Yeah, nothing with an I or an O or a U, I'm pretty sure either. So, yeah, I don't think I have a 7, which is a little surprising, but it's just a bit too constant-heavy. So do I have anything other than anti-snob and bonniest through this O? That's really the final question to ask. I don't think so. Again, just still a bit too consonant heavy to really generate a ton of words. Yeah, I... I don't think so. I really don't think so. 
So, all right, let's uh, let's play Boniest. Huh, interesting draw. We do get the Q. We have some U's to go with it, so this isn't too bad. I have Quail for 46, which is actually not bad. I mean, it keeps a bad leave, but I sort of set up this Q, and if it doesn't have a U or a good play there, I might be able to hit it again. It really maximize the value out of this Q. So sometimes putting a Q in the triple line is actually really good if you have a U because it can be very difficult to deal with, use, or even block if your opponent doesn't have a U. Well, that's not going to happen since the bot plays vetoed in that same spot. What am I down? I'm down 40, 41, so not a ton. I don't have anything here, do I? Willia almost. I'm very close to a number of things. But Q almost works. Yeah, just not quite there, unfortunately. That's too bad. That would have been a nice 68 point play. So, I don't think it's worth like fishing for a play there. It's too likely to be blocked either intentionally or inadvertently with a play through this V. So, I'm not going to try to play for like 10 and fish for a play there. It just doesn't seem smart. I also have some decent options. Probably Quinn is my best play here. 33. EGLU is not a good leave, but it certainly could be worse. At least I get rid of one of my U's in my I. So that's not horrible. Anything through this N? Not much. It's really just Quinn again. I don't think I have anything ending in the G. And definitely not too keen on keeping this Q. Yeah, I mean, I don't think... Unless I can, like, put a U here. I mean, I'm not going to do that, because that gets rid of both of my U's. It's interesting to think about if I can set up my Q. But I don't really think so. Or at least probably not in a way that's worth it over, over simply playing Quinn right now and moving on from it. Yeah, I think I should just play Quinn. I don't, I don't have anything good here. I'm so close to a lot of plays. That would be much better, but... Not quite there, unfortunately. So I think uh, I think Quinn it is. Let's do it. Not great. Definitely didn't want a W. I guess now I can actually do this. Although the GW leave is awful. So this is almost certainly better. It scores the same, actually. That scores 30. That's not bad at all. Keeps EGO. Bot plays Junta for 40. So yeah, pro I mean, wall has to be right, doesn't it? I mean, gunwale through this end is terrible. Gives back way too much. I mean, wall gets rid of my two worst tiles. It scores 30 points. EGO is not a good leaf, but it's not dreadful. I don't think I have anything better through this V. Yeah, I think this, I mean, this has to be right. Do I have anything here? Out glare with a T. Fortunately, the T has been blocked. Don't think there's anything else, unfortunately. This is a fairly promising looking rack, but just doesn't quite do it. We're, we're down, but we're not down a lot, so things are... plays... ooh. Wow, so it plays rut, setting up the S-hook, right, for squint over here. So we definitely need to be careful. I have a hard time imagining it's going to play rut without having an S. That would be extraordinarily gutsy. With three S's left to play that without an S, I would be dumbfounded if the bot would do that. Absolutely dumbfounded. So, probably the sensible thing to do is to play Uveal, which is actually just a good play anyway, because it gets rid of my U and scores 24 points, and also blocks the squid hook. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm... Pretty confident I'll have a bingo. Yeah, no. So I think this has to be good. All right, we have Goosier. Is it going to play? Not at the moment, I don't think. Newsbeat. And unfortunately, I still don't think Goosier plays, which is disappointing. Because my next best option is not very good. Yeah, I don't know now. 
I mean, yeah, because Goose here goes once we're off the board over here. Down basically a hundred. This board is terrible. Yeah, I really need to make an opening quickly here, because the bottom right isn't going to last for very long before the bot makes a play there and s stops it. So, yeah, I don't even know here. This is uh, pretty bad. I might have to uh, take drastic measures here if I want to. It's probably bad for spread, but I think I might need to do this. It's not that easy for the bot to block both the right and the bottom at the same time. I mean, depending on what it has. It's probably not that hard, though. But I think I need to do this and hope it has a dreadful rack. Like, I just don't have a good way to open the top. Yeah, I think this is probably okay. I mean, if it has a terrible rack, it may not be able to block everything. So, I don't know. It's really grasping at straws. I realize that, but I'm also down 100 on a dead board, so... I think I kind of have to grasp at straws. I mean, unless... Maybe it's more sensible... Maybe it's more sensible to play Goose. Because I score more. There's Yeah, there's still 3Ds and an S I could redraw for Goose. And I could still hit a 7 ending in like IER on the bottom. And it might block the wrong line. This is probably more sensible. Like, I think for... Yeah, because you know what? With Goo, he doesn't need like a 5 to block. He can just play a 3 here, right? If, if, he, just, if he has like an E or an I or anything. Like if he just plays... A three right here. Any three, I'm just out of options. Like the right here is blocked. I can't do this. And now the bottom is going to be blocked too. I, I don't have anything here. So then it's like, where am I bingo going? I mean, what am I going to do? Get like a 60 point bingo through this T that just gives him a huge play back here? I mean, that's, that's not going to work. Like, and there's just nowhere else to go. I mean, this whole top left section of the board is, is like as of now just completely shot off. So, I mean, I don't know. This just doesn't seem like it's going to work. I think Goose, at least he, he definitely can't block both openings at once. So I need to get very lucky, but I'm going to need to try to get lucky anyway to come back from this deficit. So I think we go for it. Yeah, that's probably not going to cut it, unfortunately. Oh, all right. Well, now let's throw in the towel. Uh, yeah, the bot lands Zeta for 80. About the worst case scenario and yeah, I don't see myself coming back at this point. I don't think there's any legitimate path. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna throw in the towel here and just cut spread and cash in on the bottom because there's just uh, there's no way to come back on this board at this deficit. So yeah, bit of a rough game. I mean, I don't I don't think I drew that badly. Like I did get Bonniest down. the The beginning was tough though. With the, it's hard to come back after a trade and opening bingo from your opponent like that with Warrior. So. I don't think I played too badly. Maybe a few things I could have been improved upon, but overall it was uh, it was a tough game. Yeah, and I mean, like, here... I don't know. Like, do I want to try this? Like, I guess I could. The bot is just going to block, right? Like, every time, though. I guess I could still... I mean, maybe it doesn't block entirely. Like, it still has something to the R. It's probably not completely crazy. It's not that easy for the bot to get a huge score through the Y. I'll I'll try it. You know why not? You only live once. Let's uh, let's go for it. Yeah, that's not gonna help. <laughs> that's definitely not gonna help. Yeah, a lot of pretty rough draws this game for sure. And yearly is uh, I mean yeah I didn't even have that much there actually. Now I have probably something reasonable through this D right. I guess just this maybe keep the R open. I mean, maybe I can, like, catch it with the X. It's probably going to block this R next turn, though. Like, I don't think I actually have chances. But we'll try this. Eh, Anchoret? Doesn't quite work, unfortunately. So, yeah, no playable bingos, as far as I can tell. Not really sure what there is to do here. I mean, I'm still down 90. That's the problem. Like, uh, even if I can bingo, it's just not going to be enough. I I can't imagine. So, yeah, we'll see what the bot comes up with here. This is a pretty bad pull. I mean, the only vowels remaining are eyes. So maybe I can at least keep this under 100 and 
cut some spread in the end game. I have some decent scoring plays. I mean, I can play Aga over here for 28. It's not bad. Also, AAH over here, actually. That's 27. So, we'll see what it does. But yeah, Anchorette, once again, is the 8 through the R, but it doesn't play. Interesting, the bot just goes with Fa for 20. Uh, there's definitely no 8s. I can't imagine that the bot could have through that R. So, do I mean... The thing is, if I fished, then the bot probably just blocks. I guess I could try to open the left. I mean, does this... Does this ever work? Yeah, it might, actually. It's worth a shot, because, like, I can draw an I for Notchier. S for Notchers, I mean, or Notches on the left. L gives me Chillin on the left. I don't know what it... It might block the wrong line. I think this is worth a shot. I mean, it probably won't win. I, I doubt it'll win, but, I mean... I don't have much to lose. Gives me, I mean, I have a decent chance at least of drawing Notch here. So I'm going to give this a shot here. Drew an N, which doesn't help me, unfortunately. Yeah, there were a few tiles there that would have been nice. Uh, the I or the S, possibly the L, but the N, definitely uh, not something that's going to help. So this game now is uh, certainly going to be a loss. But yeah, I would expect we'll just see XI or something like that from the bot on this turn. I mean, I don't think it has anything to worry about, even if I bingo out from its perspective. And uh, I'll probably just have to go out in two somewhere and move on with this one, because I don't think there's anything left I can possibly try to, to trick it or anything like that. So yeah, I'll probably just end up playing Notcher or something like that and then going out with my N. Maybe I have a, something a little bit better on the left. Techno doesn't fit. Yeah, it does play XI, so I'll spend a little time trying to figure out what my best end game is here. What do I have ending it? I have to end in a T or an N, I guess. I wouldn't be giving him a bingo, would I? I don't think so. It's not that easy to end in a T. One set, but yeah, NH isn't going to really go out for much. See, maybe I do just play Notcher. Does the buy have anything ending in a C? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, the bot probably can score more over here than it can through this R. I would imagine. So I may be better off blocking this. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Like I can't do this. Like I thought about this setting up this C, but it also has a C. Setting up Chan and Scent. But that isn't going to work. I can't really set anything up. So maybe NTH setting or saving cone? Does that give me two outs? Uh, I don't actually think so. Because through the R, what do I have? Recon? Crone? Coner isn't good. Yeah, I can just block one set and Chaw and Cone pretty easily. Because I can just play with Chaw. Yeah, no, that's, uh... Well, I guess I would have Nance. But that's a pretty bad out. So I, I don't think that's right. Maybe I should just play Notcher. I don't know. I don't want to overcomplicate this too much. But yeah, I don't really see anything better, so I'll just play Notcher and then find a place for my N on the next turn. I don't know if that's optimal, but it doesn't really matter too much, so let's just do that. Yeah, it plays Limits. I thought that was its best play, but couldn't. Uh, I don't think I had much there. So, all right, what am I doing with my N? Am I getting five for Nom? Is that it? Probably. I don't see anything more than five. I see three and four. Yeah, all right, I think five it is. So a rough game, 485 to 360 we lose. So we fall back to five and 11. Yeah, this was a tough one. I mean, I don't think I 
play too badly. Maybe I didn't play the beginning correctly. I certainly was just sort of trailing from the start. Bat is, is maybe is a better play. I don't know. I really liked this trade. ANST is, is a lead that really does bingo quite often. So I think it's, I think it's not unreasonable to trade. I mean, I give up 12 points. DNS is still a good leaf, don't get me wrong, but ANST is way stronger for bingo percentage. So I think that's fine. Um, but yeah, definitely backfires quickly after Warrior. Toph looks like it's got to be right. Um, yeah, okay, so Anti-Snob and Bonniest. Uh, I think Bonniest is maybe, I mean, looking back, I actually think I maybe should have played Anti-Snob because, like, I give back this X spot, but... I think the bottom of the board stays open more easily. I have the anti snob soak. I have underlaps uh, of warrior. Like after Bonnie is the top of this board, just really never came back to life. I mean, the spar hook is there. I guess yeah. Once I played para, like the this top of the board just really really suffered after Bonnie. So maybe I should have played anti snob to keep the top a bit more open and figure the bottom would be easier to open. It's possible. I didn't really consider that possibility. Um, Granted, I mean, I'm not at much of a deficit after either of these bingos, so I don't think I need to worry too much about that. Uh, this may be a mistake. It's not a big mistake, if so. Bot plays vetoed. Yeah, it doesn't look like there was much here that was missed. Quilt or quilt is, uh, yeah, clearly worse. Uh, definitely Quinn for five more points. The, the L helps balance out the AGU a little bit, too, so that looks good. Yeah, wall here is really not much else to consider. This is a few more points, but uh, GOW is terrible leave. So yeah, okay, as I figured, the bot did have the S with Rut, so aggressive play, but it looks pretty good. Oh, okay, I, I still have this. I still have this. I, I forgot about that. Oh, I missed Ovule. Yeah, okay, this was, um, I think I got very distracted by this S hook, and I just didn't, um, I still don't think this is a right play. Like I said, I know the bot has an S after this. The bot's not stupid. It's not going to play this without an S. Yeah, I mean... Ovule is just better, right? I mean, G-A-R is straight up better than G-O-R. Like, that's just a careless error. I, I just didn't come up with Ovule. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think Uvial is still the second best play. Like, th it's a lot of equity to give up for for that over quality. It's 10 points. But if I really am not sure that the bot has an S and a good bingo leaf to go with it, it's probably worth it. Just because uh, an S bingo there is going to be absolutely devastating at this score because it's going to be like almost 100 points. So I think I had the right idea here. Just very sloppy execution. Yeah, Avio, I mean, G-A-R is, it's not way better, but it's considerably better than G-O-R. So sloppy for sure. That's that's definitely a mistake. Um, yeah, here I had Goosier, didn't play. I still think this is right, because again, it's just too easy for the bot to block both spots after this, right? I mean, you can just play a three here and I'm out of places to go. Like with Goose, at least, if it doesn't have a good play, it can't do do much on the right. It turns out it, uh, of course, had a huge play there, but uh, it may be forced to choose, or it, it will be in some way forced to choose between leaving the bottom open and leaving the right open, and if it chooses wrong, I may be able to hit a big bingo. So I think Goose is probably uh, a good play. Of course, uh, I got hammered by an 80-point Z play, and uh, that was that was pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, I played Premi over here. As, uh, there's not too much to really do. I figured I might as well try this. Like, maybe the bot doesn't have a good way to handle the top right. Um, oh, well, look at this Paradox. That's pretty cool. Through the Para and the O. So, interesting. The bot didn't want to play X. It just played uh, Verged. Huh. wonder why it wouldn't just take 51 here. A little surprised. I mean, you're scoring 51 points. You're still blocking this spot you need to block. Like, the X is not that good a tile, right? I mean, you. I guess you have XI. So, you play Verged and you get XI for 38. That nets... 57. I mean, X, you're scoring 51. And yeah, this is a bad leave, but you can still play probably Vega or something. I don't know. It's it's a little weird to me that it didn't play EX, but okay. Um, in any case, uh, it worked out okay for me as I was able to get this down. And yeah, the bot's still delaying XI. I wonder why. Yeah, like, I mean, why not XI now? It just it feels a little bit more natural to me, but I mean, either way, the bot's probably winning no matter what. But, like, I don't know why I wouldn't just cash this in now. I mean, you still save the F for next turn, and this probably has more potential to improve than this leave does. So, I don't know, a little bit weird if you ask me, but fair enough. Um, yeah, so here, I mean, maybe for spread I am supposed to just kind of do this and uh, call it a game. But I figured maybe after this, I don't know, if somehow the bot didn't have the X and ends up drawing the X, I could hit something and bingo out. I don't know if it would even win, but 
I felt like it was worth a shot, so I, I went for it. And yeah, I didn't have much here in the endgame, it looks like. Uh, oh, maybe Nocent. That might be better. I didn't uh, come up with that. Kind of a weird six. Uh, that may be a little bit of a better play than uh, than what I did. It probably is. Yeah, I mean, the H is, the H isn't going out for a ton here. I think it's only going to get 11 next to uh, Hunt and Bonnie just here. But probably still slightly better because it blocks limits. Um, yeah, probably a couple points better than what I did. But not a big deal here or there. Um, yeah, overall, not a terrible game for me. I think the biggest thing was the uvial instead of ovial. I mean, that's just sloppy. Like, there's there's no excuse for that kind of mistake, right? I saw the spot. If I saw uvial, I have the O. I should see ovial immediately. That's just uh, that's just sloppy. I mean, again, it's not a huge mistake, but you you got to be precise against an opponent of best spots caliber. You can't can't afford those kind of things. They they do add up. Um, and yeah, other than that, I think I played reasonably well. It was a tough start, and then uh, the bot just kind of kept scoring. So. Didn't quite feel like a blowout, but I was definitely uh, clawing back, playing from a deficit the whole game. Just never really had a lead and couldn't make it happen. So, all right, uh, that does end our streak. So it's a little bit of a letdown. We uh, we won three nice games in a row, and now we, we take a rough loss. So we fall back to 5-11, and 11, but things are still looking better than they were uh, last week. We uh, we started 2-10 and 10 before uh, before our winning streak, which was looking really bad, and now at least 5-11 five, five and 11 sounds a bit more respectable. So... Okay, uh, tough loss, but hopefully we can move on in the next game and uh, get back on our winning track. So yeah, I think that's about it for this one, guys. Not too much else to look at, so I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, once again, that was game number 16. We uh, took a loss here, so we fall to 5-11, and 11, but uh, I will look forward to seeing you all for game number 17 and uh, hopefully getting back on the winning train. So thanks again for watching, guys, as always, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.